Thank you very much. Um, it's a pleasure to be here today, and I greet you with a lot of enthusiasm and humility. Um, I'm here to present the 2018 Health Care Commitment from California to further our collective movement to achieve the Patient Safety Movement Foundation goal of zero preventable deaths by 2020. So on behalf of the 400 California hospitals and health systems, HQI has renewed and refreshed our commitment for the third year. And our commitment has been in three clinical areas, sepsis, maternal care, and hospital-acquired infections. Now, um, our hospitals uh, take care of about 3.4 million patients each year. So there's a lot of lives that depend on us and entrust us. We also have over 500,000 babies born each year. That's one out of every eight in the United States. So these are areas that we, in fact, want to perfect. So our commitment for 2018 is an additional 4,259 lives saved from sepsis, nine lives from postpartum hemorrhage and preeclampsia, we're going to avert 5,369 harms, eliminating hospital-acquired conditions. And from that, uh, we expect 1,695 lives to be saved. So, thank you. That sums up then to almost 6,000 lives saved and uh, five, 1,369 harms. And we think that's conservative. We think we can do better. Now, this work can't be achieved without what we call preconditions. And the two preconditions we have are respect for people, and that incorporates all the wonderful things you've heard today. And the second is transparency. Now, if I could just define precondition just quickly for you. A precondition is an enduring property of a healthcare system. It's not a strategy. It doesn't change from year to year. It doesn't change as financial or environmental circumstances change. It's the bedrock, it's the DNA. So respect for people and transparency. Now along those lines today, we are very excited to announce an even stronger partnership with Patient Safety Movement Foundation and our new commitment in transparency. And that is the Quality Transparency Dashboard. The dashboard in the Transparency Initiative was developed uh, in partnership with uh, Joe Chiani and team at Patient Safety Movement Foundation. I was having conversations with Joe, and he reminded me of something I said early on when the foundation was founded, and that was what would make this foundation different than all those that are out there. And uh, I told him it was action taking, you get things done. Well, in the dialogue, he reminded me of that. And so uh, we're stepping up, we're gonna get things done. So we have prepared the digital dashboard for 355 association member acute care hospitals and eight systems to post on their hospital website. They were released last week and the hospitals will voluntarily post on their website this, res this uh, resource. And this is an opportunity to provide information on whether or not the hospital has implemented evidence-based practices to standardize and continually improve care and maternal safety, specifically postpartum hemorrhage and preeclampsia best practices, rec recognition, treatment, and recovery from sepsis, management and monitoring the risk of respiratory depression, as well as um, key uh, outcome metrics that we want uh, every hospital to be continuing to improve upon. So that will be out. Uh, the, the thing about this that we like is that instead of people judging hospitals and reporting on hospitals, Hospitals are talking directly to those they serve and to their communities, and doing so voluntarily. Um, we think that the inspiration 
and the voluntary nature of this will uh, ensure greater success, sustainability, and even further reach to continually improve. Um, so this is an example of what the dashboard looks like. And I'd like to say just a word about transparency before I, I thank Joe and the partnership. Could that be there? If you could put the next slide up, please. Okay. So transparency, um, we mentioned as a precondition. And the way we work with transparency is thinking about five levels of the practice of transparency in healthcare. And the dashboard, the digital dashboard, and public transparency, we see as an evolution of the work going on with transparency in hospitals. So it's clinician to patient. And I couldn't agree more with the panel that was just here before that um, we're talking about persons, um, not patients and families. Clinician to clinician, units and departments with one another, getting through organizational silos, between organizations, and finally with the public. And this kind of transparency allows us to take excellence to scale, to recognize when something goes wrong in one part of the world, we can be alert to and mitigate in the next part. So I um, hope you'll join me and the Patient Safety Movement Foundation in embracing transparency as an accelerator of change and uh, a trajectory going forward. Thank you very much.